What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, John, from the Gamer Duel here. Welcome me back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun, which, uh, it's not Sun, but Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. I'm going to call this Pokemon Sun all the time. Actually, I probably won't because it'll be dark and I'll understand that it's Pokemon Moon, but that's okay. So, I am actually so glad I didn't progress very far last episode because your boy, John, was going to be doing something very, very stupid because it is a Genlock. I can only use one Mon per generation. So, I had to make the decision on whether or not I was going to choose Greenbird or Savage. And I, I chose Greenbird. Greenbird's a better Pokemon in general. It's got Steelworker as an ability. Slugma's just... It's too scary. Now, the biggest thing that I am running into, or a good, a big problem that I, I guess I should say I could run into, is the fact that I don't have much for type coverage and I was kind of conversing with Aaron about it because I was like I don't necessarily know where I want to go or how I want to go about it and realistically we kind of tried to find the best way to go about it um slugma is great for type coverage but not really it's also weak to rock anyway um so it's weak to like one of the main things that I struggle with um but again, it does take a it I it does take away some of those weaknesses like electric or ice or stuff like that. So I understood where we were all coming from. But since we did randomize the moves, oh, she gives you a Pokeball too. Okay, lots of random Pokemon. But since we randomized the moves, it's like anything can really come out and bite you in the butt. So what I decided to do. And I did decide to train up Green Bird to level 8. Which is what how, how should end up being level 8. We've got Searing Shot, Psy Beam, Hex, and Psycho Cut. With a plus defense minus speed nature, which is a little unfortunate. Then we got Papa with Tailwind, Roost, Digi Punch, and Play Rough with a plus attack minus defense nature. Which honestly, I don't mind Lonely Natures on Trumbeak. So... It's really weird not, or like, to like, not have to worry about the natures and stuff. But we should not be running into emulator issues. I did fix that because I went on to the right Citra. Because Citra, the new Citras don't work very well, but the old ones, they do splendid. So I'm using Verja, or Citra Nightly version 1167. Um, oh boy. I'm going to put Greenbird in the front. I trust Greenbird more than I trust Papa. When the eyes of trainers meet, battles happen. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Oh, this is going to be scary. So, again, how I did calculate what level How is supposed to be. How is supposed to be level 8. So, if How is not level 8, then we know something is wrong and that we have to re randomize the trainers, give them a level boost. But again, I don't think there should be a problem. I don't see any reason for there being a problem. So, I'm hoping that everything's all right. Gliscar could probably tank that hit. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. So, training to level 8 was kind of... The reason why I did that, right, is because, like I said, that's Hao's level, and I didn't want to be under level for Hao. Hao could end up being level 7, and that's how we'll know it's not randomized correctly. Uh, but Hao will not have 6 mons yet. How the next... The first important trainer battle that's considered important is Lima. So that is going to be our first actual important trainer battle. Preschooler, it's Jimmy sending out a Ludi Colo. Oh, no. Okay. We don't have much for you. I'm going to side beam, though, because side beam is 65 times 1.5, which gives me a enough to kill. Okay. So, no, I know Searing Shot's 100, so actually, what is better normally? Because 1.5 times, 65 times 1.5, uh, 65 add 30 is 90, 97.5. Okay, so actually, Psy Shock is just barely, barely better um, for a move, but I can use it more as coverage instead, which is not bad. I'm not going to disregard the fact that that's actually going to help us out significantly. Woo! Oh, anyway. I just hope that no 
A rock type is really going to be the thing that destroys me. Like, we don't want to see rock type. That's all. Jang Mo O. Oh, we take those. We take those free experiences. Uh, that we can just go ahead and uh, Psy Shock, and we can be fine on that. Or not Psy Shock, excuse me. Psy Beam, and we should be fine there. Um, and that that eliminates that issue. Jang Mo O, not a problem. Like I said, the only real problem for both of them are a rock type. Um, ice type, I can steering shot it, and it'll be fine. So I'm just, like I said, only thing I can't handle is a rock type, so. Measuring the ores, the numbers seem to be up quite high. What do you think, Captain? Hmm, what was that? Did you say something? I was... Well, I was certainly distracted by the foolish display of festivity. The aura readings of this place, perhaps it may be the effects of one they call the Isla Kahuna. But everything is so bright in Alola. Well, far brighter than what we've been told it would be. I find it loathsome and awful bright. Even though it is the light that we sought out for so long. Yes, yes, I suppose you're right. We must carry our investigations to return to the light of our own world as well before the blinding one can awaken. You! You're not native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from very far away. Leave, bit. Leave, 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 leave. Leave, you butthead. Because... If you guys can't already tell, I can't stand Solaria. Solaria literally always kills my mods. So Solaria is gonna have we're gonna have a fight with Solaria like all the time, and it's gonna be it's gonna be hard fights. Solaria is the real rival here. <laughs> How is just not a problem at all. Solaria, on the other hand, is like, let me just throw out an Arcanine that can somehow take out a Xerneas. Learning from experience. Um Yeah, no, that was a sad that was a sad episode. It had a uh, fiery dance i believe which is scary because if you guys don't know what fiery dance does it uh lowers the special attack if it's been hit with a fire move and because i had nothing for it at the time like i was weak to it completely and it was like ah there was nothing like i said nothing i could do so it was a very very scary battle and i don't want to have many of those right now especially in a gen lock where i'm limited to pokemon that i can use so, I'm hoping that in this episode, we can beat How, get one another one of our encounters, go to the Pokemon Center, heal, or not heal, but, like, deposit our Slugma, and get another encounter. So, we can get a team of four going. But, like I said, it is very odd not being able to use Slugma. Um, just because, like I said, I'm not used to restricting myself in that way, shape, or form. I am, in a wedlock, I wasn't really restricted. Like, I still would have been able to use, because you're, you're looking, um, for the gender that they appreciate. But in this, you're not. It's whatever your encounter is. So, like, if I encounter a Gen 7 or 2 Mon, they go in the box. Kind of like in a Soul Link. So, but instead, you're alone, so you kind of control all those decisions and everything that's going on, which literally everything is riding on you, which makes it just that much more difficult. So she, he, how should have a level six and an eight? So his first mod should be the level six, I believe. Adele Mize, huh? Okay. I want to see a level six. If I see seven, that's even better. But I want to see six. Okay. Searing shot should kill. I don't see why not. Oh, yeah. Gone. Okay. So we need to see a level eight. That is what we need to see. We need to see how's next Pokemon be level eight. Green. Oh! <laughs> Green birds learn in sacred fire. Bruh, green birds out here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Psycho Cut because Sacred Fire is physical, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'm gonna get rid of Psycho Cut. Um, because, yeah, I'd stop, but a 50% chance to burn? Like, why would I not? Because Hex is special, but we kind of want... <gasps> oh my god, Sacred Fire actually pairs with Hex so well. I didn't even think about that. Because Sacred Fire has a 50% chance to burn. Hex does double damage if the opponent has a status. Yeah! Let's go! It would be kind of almost better if we had Toxic, but... We'll take that. Let's go. Okay, so we need a level 8. A Licky Licky. We're going to fight my friend's favorite Pokemon. That's how we roll. Um, Licky Licky. Should it be too much of an issue? I'm going to stay in. But we want to see level 8. If we see... Yes! Okay. It is randomized. The level boost did happen. So I don't have to worry about the level boost being an issue. So we're good. So it does not round. That is good information for me to know. That this game does, in fact, not round. No! You've got flash fire. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Um... Randomized abilities biting me in the butt. Um, okay, so Licky Licky's a thick boy, too. Do we even have potions? I feel like they gave us potions. They had to have given us potions, right? Like, I'm not being dumb. They definitely gave us potions. I'm glad you only have Scratch, because, like, you could have had way worse moves for me. I guess time to check my bag, see if we actually... Oh, we do, okay. We got... S oh, yeah, we got seven. Okay, we're good. But yeah, so the level boost did actually happen. Positive. Which means the level boost on the other end also, also literally ha it happened too. Em oh, Ember did a lot because of Flash Fire. But we should be able to kill it still. So how is going to be gone? Bye, how Your Lucky Lucky had a great time. I bet I can tell you that. Okay, Green Bird is level 10 now. Which we will definitely, we will definitely take that. Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew. That was awesome. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. Even with, or with this, even Tapu Koko. Oh, you heard that yourself. Tapu Koko was song of approval oh i nearly forgot it's time for you to take this i don't know what oh yeah it was the z power ring yeah i was like why are you giving me this it's a z power ring john it, it, do you not remember alola apparently not um your z power ring blah blah blah, blah, blah. i don't really care you, you don't have to talk about the z power ring i can skip this but anyway so greenburn is definitely i'm on that's staying on the team um I just, I don't know. I really hope our encounter, because the encounters aren't 100% anymore. 100% encounters are gone. So I really want, what generation? I almost want to get generation 6 out of the way, if I can. Because generation 6 is such a small generation, that if I can get generation 6, it still gives me freedom. Because generation 5 is big. Generation 5 is actually the generation they added the most Pokemon. I believe it was 156. So, I don't want Generation 5 because Generation 5 will pop up everywhere and it will be an issue. Um, so, like I said, crossing my fingers, I can get a Generation, like, like I said, Generation 6 is what I'm hoping for. Just because it's such a small, it is, I think, the smallest generation um, we already have Gen 7, and then we just have left, like, the big generations, and generations that will be a little bit more of an issue. Um, also, a lot of Megas are in Generation 1, so, oh, Captain, I was able to detect high air levels of aura at this full-powered festival. I suppose you would. According to our earlier research, it seems that the Z-Power Ring that, and this Tapu Koko creature are bathed in a great deal of light. The Olola overflows with the light released by the blinding one. I find myself rather envious. I wonder if we can't find a way to use the great power of Alola for ourselves. That's precisely what we, the Ultra Recon's got. Huh. Going to make that clear. 
Onward. There's still so much of Alola that we have not seen yet. We must investigate it all. Ooh! Gotta love... I gotta love that. Okay. I like how she literally talks to her mouth. It's like, honey, I'm home. It's like, you don't really need to tell them yells that you're home, but okay. Um, it's like, I love the fact that you really love your mouth because Meowth is a very good Pokemon and it deserves love and affection. But you really don't have to do that. Um, do we, oh, uh, we sleep again. Oh, it's still gonna be daytime. You can tell I really want to record these at, like, actual good hours and not 7.30. But, so, like, because but it doesn't really matter. I don't know why. I have this stupid superstition, right? Um, and the stupid superstition that I have is night encounters are better. Like, I swear, night encounters tend to be better. Um, doesn't she say it's Kakui and it is actually Lily? <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my stupid superstition. That's why I like Ultra Moon, because I always tend to get better night encounters by far. Um, so it's unfortunate that we're recording this at 7.30, but it's also the only time I had today, because we recorded some Luigi's Mansion, and that was a lit recording session. We had, I had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm just really glad um, that we were able to kind of showcase that off for you, especially with the ending of... Uh, what's it called? Mario Party. Um, because I'm going to be editing a lot of those too lately. Um, so we can get all the Mario Parties done and everything else as well. And like I said, we've got a lot of cool things happening. And, you know, I appreciate the cooperation I get from my sister. Like, I can't believe she literally deals with me 24-7. Especially right now, where she literally is basically forced to deal with me 24-7. Um, but yeah. Um, okay. Got Lily talking about the stupidest things. I want to get my encounter, Lily. Can you just be quiet? Lily, I want my encounter. I want a Pokemon. It better be good, because if it's not good, I'll be a little sad. She's like, guess what? You can avoid dirt. You can avoid everything with this ledge. Wait, does she actually not allow you to... What? I really hope that she just allows me to get... Okay, she does. Okay. I, I, I'm so used to Luigi's Mansion. Like, Egad does not like it when you pull out of the side here. This is a new encounter, by the way. It's the Hello-E Outskirts. That's a Mega Swamper! Remember when I said I have problems against rock types? Let's freaking go. And that's a mom that I can use. Uh-huh. Uh, it's... Classified as Generation 3E. Let's go. Oh, we better catch this thing. Or I might be really sad. Um, I don't want to burn. Why did I use Sacred Fire if I don't want to burn it? Crap, 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 crap. It's got a, it's a starter, so it's got to have a starter catch ray, right? Yes, okay. I, I know I didn't want to burn it, but that's okay. I know we have a limited time now, but... Oh, water gun. Bro, this is a mega. This is a mega. Ah! <laughs> like... This is really good, and I need to, and I have to take advantage of the fact that this is a mega and it's something I can use. Please, Swampert, all I ask of you is to cooperate with me, be on the team. We love you so very much. No way. Bro, that burn. That burn raised the catch rate so much. I wonder if it's different because it's a mega, but I don't think it is. Um. I swear. Somebody. I think it was in verses. I'm going back to the comment section in verses because I swear. That somebody in the comment section in verses really, really, really wanted to be named after a Swampert. And what a better way to be named after a Swampert than it being a Mega Swamp. Where did it be? No! 
Dude, YouTube unsubscribed me from Beakers. That's, you can't do that. Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. I didn't even unsubscribe. Oh, and it just cut Beakers' channel entirely from my uh, subscription list. I That's annoying, too. Okay. Somebody said it in verses. One of these comments. Because I swear. I think it was Zayden. Yes. Zayden said in verses, if you find a mudkip, name it after me. Zayden, I know this is in verses. But how about a mega swapper? Let's go! And it's on the team. Flop. I don't think there's actually a card for this mod. I'm going to text Aaron. Hey, can you find a card of a mega swapper? Do they exist? I don't know if they exist or not, but I'm sending Aaron on a journey because I am very shell-shocked at the current moment. We are about to be at the point where we can end the episode. But like, because we get one more encounter at the trainer school. But I am, like I said, I don't really know how to feel about that. Like, I don't know. This is weird. I don't know. I don't know. Do Mega Swamper cards exist? Because we want to use... Oh, my God. That was an explosion. Hello? Um, Because I'm trying to use, like, TCG cards for the layout, as you guys can tell. Um, So, I guess if it exists, it's on the layout. If not, sorry, Aaron. It's gift time. Um, Like, I'm going to have to use gifts if there's no... Because, um... like, how... Okay, one. How was I supposed to expect that I was going to get a Mega Frickin' Swampert as my encounter? Like, and that's Generation 3, so it actually works. Thank you. Dude, I can't believe that actually works on the team, though. Like, no joke. Generation. And that, like I said, that gets rid of a rock weakness. Because we had a rock weakness, and now it's gone. It's been neutralized. And we don't have to worry because that one weakness that we have is covered by Greenbird. Like, very well covered by Greenbird. And Trumpbeak, too. So, like... That probably was, like, the best... That was literally the best encounter that we could have hoped for. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I I'm very happy. <laughs> and like I said, it counts for the generation that it it the original on was introduced. So it does count for Gen 3, not Gen 6. So... But it sucks that I have to explain that literally every single time. But that's okay. <laughs> um... Like, every beginning of the episode, we got our Generation 3 Mega Swamper because it counts for the original generation. Like, I'm literally going to say that every time in the team recap, but I'm not mad. <laughs> not at all. Like, if anything, I'm very ecstatic that that happened. Um, and we got our Rotom Dex, and I think we... Do we have to talk to our mom? I feel like we do. I like how I'm skipping, like, all the text. I was like, ah, let me just read the text. And then now it's just being a lot of, like, three texts and everything else. And I'm just reading it. Sorry. You guys probably, I probably went out of the frame, but that's okay. Um, now I'm back in it. I should be, at least. Like, I really should be back in the frame. I'm going to double check. Yeah, I'm in the frame. Okay. And even if I went like this, I'm out of the frame, right? Yeah. I mean, you can still see me on the, in the shot. So... You guys aren't even going to see that I did that because it's just, it's going to lap over each other. But, uh, oh my gosh, I'm like.
I don't even know how to react. <laughs> like, that's the best way I could have reacted, I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm like... I'm not worried for any future projects now. Like, if I can get encounters like that, I shouldn't be worried at all. Um, especially if I can get encounters like that. Like, holy Toledo, Batman. A mega swamper. And we can come back later and get an encounter right there, too. Oh yeah, we got the solar e we got the solar eclipse. Even though this doesn't like, they're like, oh, it's a solar eclipse, but they made it look like it's just clouds. Like they didn't make it look like a solar eclipse at all. <laughs> like a solar eclipse is when the crap. Yes, a solar eclipse is when the sun goes over the moon. A lunar eclipse is when the moon goes over the sun. So, but they didn't again. So I guess in this case, it would have been a lunar eclipse that they're talking about. But they did not make it look like a lunar eclipse at all. They failed. They made it look like just clouds going by the air. Like, I'm like, oh, cool. It's clouds. That's not like it doesn't happen every day in Seattle. But whatever. Um, Actually, we've been blessed with very nice weather lately, which I'm not complaining about the nice weather at all. It's just interesting the way that it works. Okay. So one rule of thumb. That I am going to teach you guys right now with Mega Pokemon. Because I bet you guys knew this already. But it's okay. Mega Pokemon. Oh. Okay. This could be an interesting situation. Okay, good. Green Bird took care of it. That could have gotten interesting real quickly. Uh, but anyway, with Mega Pokemon, you always want to put them in the box. Because if you don't put them in the box, then they just don't do what they're supposed to do. So, good rule of thumb for you to know. Always put your Megas in the box. Ooh, that was a little lag, but that's okay. Like, that's not even bad lag. Um, you know, a Shiny would be really nice. But, bro, there was Latias in here too. That's Generation 3 um, as well. So, oh, but see, but you're more on level. So, you are a rare encounter. So, actually, if you guys didn't know that either, the higher the level, usually the rarer the encounter ends up being. Um, this guy's talking about killing me at the kneecaps. That's the best way to get me, though. Best way to knock me down is by the kneecaps. Finneon, uh, dead. Um, Finna dead. Oh! Ho, ho! Yeah, let's make that joke. That's gonna be the intro moment. Your Finny on is Finna dead. Um, oh, I, well, it's not dead right now because I did a stupid thing. Um, Mystical Fire. Well, that's gonna do nothing. Uh, but that's a move that lowers my special, which could actually come into play with Psybeam because I don't think Psybeam would have gonna kill either. Oh, actually, wait, it would, right? Yeah. I was... I didn't divide by two, guys. It just didn't happen. It's okay. Um, I love how this little kid's like, I'm gonna knock you to the knees. And then it's like, oh, actually, you brought me to my knees. It's like, okay, one, weird. But do I have to talk to my mom the Taurus goes away? Nope, Taurus is gone. Ha, ha, ha. Wait. Okay, so I'm thinking about later in the game. Lily literally gives you a tour of the Pokemon. <laughs> Lily gives you a tour of the Pokemon Center. How does this, like, literally a little bit later? That's funny. Okay. That, that is actually very hilarious that Hal literally does this. Um, But yeah, so what we're going to do is go to the PC, put our Slugma in the box because we can't use it, which is fine. Um, if we get another Gen 7 Mon, I might replace it. I'm, I hate to say it like that, but it's true. Like, if we get a, a Gen 7 Mon, it 
there is a high likelihood that our starter will be replaced. Uh, only because Greenbird's a much superior fighting type. I just needed to get Air Cutter, and then we're just all set and fine and dandy. Um, does she give you 35,000? Yeah, she does. Okay. So, first off, Aaron taught me a, an amazing trick. And that trick is buy in fives when it comes to these kind of things. Because, like, if you don't buy in fives, you could be screwed over um, very easily. So, Aaron did teach me this trick. So, let's just say I thank you, Aaron, for teaching me this wonderful trick. Because if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be doing it. And then, why are Awakening's only $100? I'm just not going to question it, because I don't think that there should be only $100, but I got no reason to question it. We got nine balls in our bag, so we're going to buy 21. Ah, they didn't. Okay. So this generation, they don't have that. See? Okay. I didn't know that, but I should have just bought 10, 10, and 20, but bro, seeing that we have, oh wait, we should check it, dude. What if Mega Swampert has, like, Sap Zipper? Long Reach with Water Gun, Bubble, Shadow Sneak, and Water Shriek in it. What does Long Reach do? This Pokemon uses moves without making contact with the target. D I'm down. Can't get hit with Rough Skin. That's beautiful. Can't, like, and same with Static. And so, like, abilities that get triggered when you make contact, null and void. We'll take that. Uh, we're not getting some. We're not getting terrible abilities, so we'll take it. Looks like we can't go that way because of Tauros. Oh, really? Are you scared of some Uwu? Because I'm not scared of Uwu. I would deep dive. I made that weird, but that's okay. Um, let's get our. Encounter at the trainer school and then train. -ain. That's literally what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna get our encounter in the trainer school and the episode, and then I'm gonna train up the team to level eight a piece, maybe nine. Um, because Green Bird's a little higher than Green Bird should. Oh, uh, we have the XP share too. Well, Green Bird's gonna, yeah, so I'm gonna t I'll turn that off. Um, and to, unless we are actually like going, if I'm training, I'm not gonna turn it on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to train everybody up to level 8, theoretically. So I think the teacher's level 10, if I'm not mistaken. She might actually be level 11. But yeah, so we're going to get our encounter and kind of play it by ear. I remember over here, I actually had a Moody Croconaw in my live series. It had it was a bug fighting type with Moody as an ability. But yeah, so we, our encounter in the trainer school is... A Salazzle? We'll take... Oh, that's Gen 7. We're gonna have to... Oh, I feel so bad. I really do. But, like... It's so much better for the team if I... Well, I guess I could scout its moves. That's not, like, a bad idea. Because it feels so much better for the team. Did you really just double protect on me? You butt knocker. You really double protected. Um, I can't believe it did pull off the double protect. Um, okay. That does close to half. Okay. Oh, thanks. You loaded my special. That's what I needed out of you. Um, although, I'm expecting a Baneful Bunker, so I'm going to Sacred Fire. Let's go! John making plays today. Um, now I know it won't pull off a Triple Protect. And I'm going to Searing Shot. Because it, if it pulls off another... If it pulls off a Double Protect, like... A, bro! This boy pulled off two Double Protects! Oh my gosh. That's a six, one in six chance, which means that's what? Uh, 17%? Because one in, one in eight is 
So yeah, it's about a 17% chance of that happening. He did it twice. Uh, if he pulls off a triple protect. Oh, wait, no. It's, oh, no, it's one in three this next. It was a 33% chance twice. Um, so that, which means that's a one in nine. So that means if he pulls this off, it'd be like a one in 81 chance. Watch him do it. Okay, good. I was going to say, I'm like, he pulled off a double protect twice. You better not. Um. Oh! Okay, Salazzle. Let's calm down a little bit. Oh, you got Coil, too. Okay, that's going to raise your attack, though. It's not going to change anything with your dark pulses and mystical fires. But we have 30 Pokeballs. If we can actually catch Salazzle, it'll be on the team. Because that's a poison fire type. So we'd have a poison fire type, a water ground type. Come on, Salazzle. So we got a poison fire, a water ground, and a psychic flying. Like, that would be an amazing pair. Uh, our amazing trio of Pokemon. If we can actually do it. Let's go! Salazzle has been caught. Oh yeah, Salazzle has been caught. It's got Coil, Baneful, Bunker, Dark Pulse, and Mystical Fire. So, oh, maybe we won't have to train up because, Wow! We really won't have to train up. Zayden already is like, oh, I'm level 7, by the way. Wow. Okay, Salazzle. We take those. I, Salazzle is a frail mon. I do recognize that. Um, We're going to name it Snazzy the Salazzle. And that'll be a Gen 7 one. I'm sorry I'm replacing your starter choice. I'm like, I'm sorry, not sorry that I'm replacing the starter choice. Um, unless this has like a terrible ability. Why not? We'll take your rare candy and we'll give it to Papa. Um, summary. Wow! Snazzy is just out here! But I do think this is a great place to end today's episode. We've been uh, going for 35 minutes. So I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting so close to that 700 mark. And if we can hit it soon, I will be like just so ecstatic. But I love you all. I'm going to train up the team to level 8. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!